What we have here is a CL900 tablet computer from Motion Computing. It has a 10.1 inch screen with a 1366 by 768 pixel resolution uh, which is the same as a 720p on a high definition television. Uh, the display does not reflect like an iPad display does. You can use it outdoors uh, and uh, it remains nice and visible. Unlike the iPad and uh, all of the machines that use the Android operating system, the Motion uh, CL900 is using Windows 7. So you can use uh, any and all Windows software on this machine, but it, that does not mean that you can't use it for touch applications. And it even has a pen when extra position is needed. So I want to show you a little bit how this works. Um, you can use it just like a regular Windows machine with the Windows menus. However, you can also use touch, like so. And I want to show you a few of the special uh, features that this has. For example, there's an uh, application interface called uh, XOPC. And as you can see, the interface here consists of rows and columns of uh, round icons. You can attach applications or uh, other directories to those. Uh, icons and uh, then you can touch and go to say USA Today uh, we can see what CNN has to say you can uh, watch movies on Netflix here and there are also some really interesting uh, um, uh, let's see level channel also of course as much uh, whatever you want there's also some really interesting uh, demos like for example uh, touch you can see this is multi-touch and you can manipulate objects on here like you can on an iPad. There's some other interesting demos that show you how you can do that with pictures. Let's go to uh, demos and pictures and here you see a number of pictures and just like on an iPad you can move the pictures around. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can do it with two of them or three. Let's make that smaller. You can even use four if I have enough fingers for that. And it works really, really well. So just because this is a Windows machine doesn't mean that you limit it to traditional Windows functionality. Um, if you do use Windows, there are some helper applications that make it a lot easier to use Windows. Uh, there's something called uh, XTouch and this lets you launch whatever applications you want uh, just by tapping on them, like for example Windows Paint. Uh, you, we could do that with the pen and just use the traditional Windows menus, but we can also use uh, the XTouch applications. There's functionality for cutting and pasting. This is just a utility to make it easier to use the, the full Windows operating system on a tablet. Interestingly enough, even though this tablet is running a, uh, a very uh, economical Intel Atom processor, it can actually run video very well, which is something that, uh, let's see, run video. That's something that the netbook generally can't do. So that's no problem. You can use it for entertainment, uh, to watch video, uh, whatever you want. Let's close this. I also want to show you some uh, other capabilities here. For example, you may have heard of handwriting recognition, which you can do on this. Um, let's uh, open up the input panel here. So, um, this works very well. Now let's see if it can do something that's certainly not in the dictionary. Put in my name, Conrad. See if it gets that. And it gets that too. Insert. So this is, may not be something that you necessarily need, but it works really well too. Close this. 
And what else can I show you here? Well, let's talk a little bit about the capabilities of this machine. It has two cameras, one front, 1.3 megapixel, and then it has a documentation camera in the back, 3 megapixel, and we tested that and it works quite well, very sharp pictures. Um, it has an SD card slot, it also has a SIM card slot, um, it has a HDMI output directly to TV, and it has a full-size USB port. Um, the pen goes uh, in here if you don't need it, just stick it in there. Um, the battery is replaceable and uh, it runs for about nine, eight to nine hours. So uh, pretty much iPad territory. Now this machine is actually considerably tougher than uh, your standard media tablet. So, uh, you know, you, you, uh, there's no danger of scratching the display. If you drop it from up to four feet, it's not going to break. If a little bit of rain gets on it, that's okay too. And like I said, when you use it outdoors, there's no reflections on the screen, and that's a gigantic uh, advantage. Now, this machine is not for everyone. It's uh, primarily for people who need to use Windows 7 in their work, or who choose to use Windows 7, but they still would like to have the convenience of a, a tablet. Um, it's very, very configurable, so uh, conceivably um, some companies may use it to run their own applications, Windows-based applications that fit into their corporate network, uh, corporate IT systems, but they can still use the touch fun functionality that um, more and more people uh, uh, prefer these days. Uh, Price-wise, it's a little more expensive than an iPad. I think it starts at uh, $899, but it's actually quite uh, affordable for uh, a machine that offers this much. So this is Motion Computing's CL900. Very, very interesting addition to the uh, lineup of tablets available on the market today.